Hello, Turkish Films, Chess Channel, Daily Chess, Episode 7. That is right, guys. We're going to be playing some Blitz Chess. 10-minute chess. I was just analyzing um, another game. Well, I guess maybe not the whole game, but just a specific uh, mistake that somebody could make uh, in the semi-slav. I already did that in my last analysis video, but I was just going more in-depth and making sure that I had it... Um, written down in my file. So we have the East Indian defense and we have a Nimzo Indian. Fantastic. So E3 is what I play. After A3 I just uh, fracture his pawn structure and castle. And my claim to fame is that I'm going to be slightly more developed. That's the idea throughout the game. Uh, and here we're going to play D5. We want to get our knight to defending. Uh, I should have played h6 first. Yeah, that was my mistake. I should have played h6 first. Let's play h6. If he takes, we're very happy. If he goes back, that's totally cool as well. Mm, do I play b6 first? b6, bishop here to try to win the pawn. I like that, but we'll just play knight here for now. So now my queen's free to move. All right, so if his knight lands here, that's bad news. Because if I take it, he takes back with the pawn and my knight's hanging. If he goes there and takes my knight and I take with the queen, then this knight's also hanging in that variation. So when his knight lands there, I should just move my queen. That seems to make some sense. If I play c5, I'm giving myself an isolated pawn. So I'll play b6 to prepare c5. Okay. And like I said, we'll move our queen now. Now I can take this knight and give him the worst pawn structure you've ever seen. That would be pretty good. I don't think he'll allow that. My question is, does he take... Oh, he takes there. Oh, if I take here, he takes my bishop. Or he takes my he takes my uh my knight. So I gotta take this way. Shoot. Hmm. Or do I take with the pawn? Let's take let's take with the knight, so that way he doesn't have threats of here anymore, and I would definitely like to take this knight. I didn't see that move. We'll just kick him away. Two attackers, two defenders. It's just even here. Just even, Steven. Also, he kind of hung that pawn there. Yeah, no, I, I totally blundered. I should have just taken this. It's attacking the queen and this. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, <laughs> I'm just playing too quickly. We're going to slow down a little bit. And we're going to try to make reasonable moves instead of blundering away advantages. Um, yeah, I, I could have just picked up this pawn for free. Attacks the queen, attacks the bishop um, back in this position. I was just like, I just reacted way too quickly. So here he defends. That's good to see. Uh, and let's see. So my guess is the move here is f6. Uh, and f6 attacks this knight that's the first thing it does and it stops this bishop from looking in at me both of those are good things so my queen has a little bit more breathing room after f6 it does undefend this pawn temporarily which is not good does he have a check in this position he has no checks in this position does he have captures he can capture here any way he'd like he could sack this pawn he could take this knight Okay, we see that if he takes this knight, he actually wins a pawn that way. So if I play f6, he takes here, I can take with the queen and defend against that. Okay, so I'll play f6 here. f6 makes a bigger threat, so he's trying to win a pawn here. I'm going to take the knight instead. Oh, it might not be a bigger threat. 
He just takes here with the bishop. Because if I take this knight, he takes here with check. And if I take here, he takes with check. All right, let's take. He's going to take that with check. We'll move our king. And this is kind of a crazy position. His king's still in the center, but I can't do anything about it. I would like to make that move work. So after bishop here, okay, so I'm kind of seeing this start to come together. Should we take in the center first? I think we should take here. We'll take here. We'll play bishop here. And then that move looks pretty good. Develop our pieces. Okay, so I think I have, have a worse position here. Um, he's up one pawn. It was the pawn here that he was able to steal because my f6 move wasn't a threat, so he was still able to win the pawn uh, like he had wanted initially. So now I'm calculating if he just goes bishop d5. Uh, maybe he does make this move as he wants to make, and then rook to g6. He can just play bishop to d5. And after c6, he moves the bishop. <laughs> yes, this is kind of what I thought was going to happen. And my idea was to play... Uh, like this. So it's not starting to win the bishop, but it's starting checkmate here. Hopefully he won't see it. I'm just kidding. Um, but he does have to deal with it because it is, it is checkmate. So bishop here would develop and attack the pawn here. That's true. And I don't have a move that defends both things. So knight here. Uh, well, it doesn't lose a knight. That's the first thing. And I think if he takes this, I was trying to see if there's a knight move, like knight there, that has a lot of problems for him because it really bears down on this square. And it just looks like I have a lot of kind of pressure against his position, even if it's not... None of it's winning. Okay, so we opened up his king side a little bit to try to stop some of these threats from occurring. That's a good sign. Uh, we're making some progress. So he's still trying to win this pawn here. So if I move my bishop, like to there, for example, that would save this pawn. So any bishop move saves the pawn. Hmm. Do I have any checks in this position? I have no checks. I need to see. Can I capture anything? Well, I can capture this bishop, but that gives away a queen. Do I have any threats? Hmm. In the current position, I have this move, which threatens to win a pawn here. But then he would win a pawn here. Oh, but he wouldn't win a pawn here. Because then I would take this. And he couldn't take back because it's pinned. Okay, so let's attack the bishop. The bishop can go there if it wants to, to try to stay safe. But then I can take this pawn. Hmm. So I'm starting to win this pawn here. Okay, and now let's see if that works. The idea was... Bishop takes this, threatening checkmate. He should probably stop checkmate. That's generally a good policy, to not get checkmated. Oh, wait. If he goes back like this, once I move my bishop, I lose this rook. I take with the knight. Uh, I just made this really tactical, 
and that's just not necessary. So he has to stop checkmate. He can stop checkmate by moving a rook up like this. He could take the bishop if he wants to. Yep, he took. And I'll take back. Sorry, I have something that's going off right now. Alright, so this game is kind of crazy and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But he has a. Right now, I'm up a pawn. His bishop's hanging. And we have some tactics. So maybe I'm not doing too poorly in this position. My knight can go here to threaten checkmate. And also just to encroach further on his position. Okay, he takes here. And this move would be met by bishop takes. So let's try to save our rook. I gotta watch out for some tactics involving this guy here. Gotta watch out for some tactics involving this bishop. Because that bishop is a... Uh, Pretty scary. If it moves, the queens are looking at each other. Uh, only one move to save the rook. Yeah, only one move to save the rook. So let's save the rook. Okay, still, not a lot of checks. This bishop moving is really concerning me. Because there's just so much stuff that is affected by that. If the queens get traded, I definitely have an advantageous position. Okay, and like I said, he moved the bishop. So let's trade queens. Yep. Let's trade queens. And then we'll take a pawn. Oh, I didn't see that he had both my rooks attacked. I didn't see that. So now my question is, do we go here attacking his bishop? Or do we take the pawn? I think let's attack the bishop. Yeah. Let's attack the bishop. Because at least then it's just an exchange. It's just this for this. Um, okay. There we go. And now we're in a position where he's, he, he took the exchange back. So now he's two pawns ahead. Material-wise, although I have some forks happening, some pawns that are winning. Okay. That check comes in here and here. And that's the plan. Hmm. I would like to get on this one of these three squares to pin and hopefully win the bishop. But right now that's not looking particularly possible. Where's my rook? There it is. So let's Let's move some pawns. Let's get let's get our king up. Get it unpinned so we can move our knights. Because uh, our knight's in a bit of a bind here. As you may have noticed. Yeah. And bishop here. Ugh. Rook here. Or king there, I didn't see it. Oh. 
rats. Rats. Oh, no. And that's the game. He just has too many past pawns. He's just going to play this. It's over. Man. So he was playing the same-ish variation. Let's look at that. Yeah. Nothing left here. None left here. Yeah, this is just over. But never resign. Uh, let's try to bring our king in. Yeah, there's no tricks in this position, but we're just gonna we're just gonna play it out to the end. I was just playing far too quickly um, in the game, and we're gonna go down. I'm quite confident it doesn't matter. If he plays here, we play this. Mm. I didn't see that. Here, here, here. And there's no tricks in this position. He can just start the ladder if he wants. Here? Uh, no. No, that's not the move. Oh, it is. Oh, I went the wrong way. Here? Checkmate. All right. There's the game. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, a lot of just really quick playing in the beginning. I really will not be surprised if in the opening somewhere. I got in an uncomfortable position um, when, he, when I let his knight get into the center like that. Um, there was some tactics that happened here. A totally just a huge missed opportunity with this. But we'll look at all that in the analysis. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And remember to stay Turkish. Thank you so much.